Are you serious? Are you serious, folks? I'm, uh, we're breaking news, of course. There's been a shooting again at Fort Hood down in Texas. Uh, CNN is reporting that the Fort Hood shooter is dead. The Fort Hood shooter is dead, citing a U.S. official. Now, it wasn't clear if this was a self-inflicted uh, wound or at the hands of the authorities. We're not sure about that yet. There has been reports, though, that there may be a possible second shooter, but we do not have absolute confirmation on that yet. Now, at least one person is dead in the shooting at Fort Hood in Texas, according to the police at KWTX-TV reports. And that there have been reports that as many as eight people have been shot. But the Bell County Sheriff's Department is saying that four people have been shot at Fort Hood and there is an active shooter situation still on. Now, Fort Hood witnesses said that soldiers were escorting men, women, and children at gunpoint from one building to another. Soldiers were, plural. Um, and we do know that one report is four people have been shot. Another report is eight people are shot. And we do believe that the main gunman is dead, but it sounds like there's a second shooter. Injuries are being reported. Be aware, this, this was sent out following the reports of this shooting. There was a uh, Fort Hood sent out on Twitter and Facebook. They made this announcement. They said, injuries are being reported. Be aware, if you're in the Fort Hood Post area, there's an ongoing active shooter, according to Waco Police Department. Now, the 1st Cavalry Division, which is based at Fort Hood, sent a Twitter alert telling people on the base to close their doors and stay away from the windows. There were unconfirmed reports of, of course, multiple shootings. But that was when they first sent out the text. They sent out a posting on the Fort Hood Facebook page and the Fort Hood Twitter account. So let's recap it. There apparently is somewhere between four and eight people shot. There is one person dead. The shooter is dead. Did he shoot himself? Was he gunned down by the authorities? We don't know. There's apparently a second shooter, and women and children were at gunpoint at some point in this process. I don't know if it was the original, the, the first shooter, or if there's a second soldier that had them at gunpoint. Uh, I'm not sure. Of course, this is a fluid situation. Uh, it's, it's happening as we speak. Uh, multiple gunshots, multiple people shot, somewhere between four and eight people shot, and one of the shooters is dead. The other shooter, I'm getting word, is surrounded right now, is completely surrounded, and uh, give me one second here, I'm going to see if we can get another quick update. Uh, as I said, this is a very fluid situation. Um, and uh, okay, here's here's the late within the last six minutes. Uh, there is a shooting, of course, at Fort Hood in Texas. The active shooter with incident, of course, there are casualties. We know that eight somewhere between four and eight people are dead. Uh, Fox News is saying that the the shooter, one of the two shooters, has been neutralized. Now, we have other reports saying he is dead. Whether he was gunned down by the authorities or whether he killed himself is still unclear. There is a second shooter, and he is surrounded. There has been somewhere between four and eight people shot Fort Hood. So we're going to continue to monitor this thing. Um, uh, it's very fluid. I'll be back as soon as I get more clearer information right here on YouTube. So stay with us. I'll be right back. As soon as we find out, please be praying right now. Because if there is women and children uh, that are being held at gunpoint by a second shooter, if it's a hostage situation, this isn't good. And obviously, there was reports yesterday on Fort Hood that there was a man who was saying that he was going to commit a jihad. That doesn't mean that's what's happened here. 
That may be a, a separate incident, but folks, we've already had a jihad at Fort Hood. We've already had 13 people killed and 30-some shot by a major, so we anything is possible at this point. So be in prayer, pray for the families of all those involved, pray for all of our men and women in uniform, uh, and uh, that this gets resolved quickly. I'm Pastor Paul Begley, and I'll be right back as soon as I get uh, more information, more clear situation what's taking place. God bless.